Melissa Crouch with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Today we're out with the Louisiana Cooperative Marine Fish Tagging Program to give some background on the program and show how to tag a fish. Um, the program is a cooperative effort between the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, CCA Louisiana, nonprofit organizations, universities, and volunteer fish taggers. Um, the program is mostly geared towards volunteer taggers, and those are the main reason our program functions. There are citizen scientists, so without them we would have uh, not nearly as much data as we do now. The Louisiana Cooperative Marine Fish Tagging Program is looking at getting more information about the main sport fish in Louisiana. And that's mostly going to be speckled trout and redfish. We're looking at finding information on migration patterns, uh, population structure, and habitat preferences. And the anglers that go out and tag fish for us, our citizen scientists, are a major player in getting all of that data and learning more about these fish and learning how to conserve them for future generations. Today we've caught a spotted sea trout and we're going to show you how to tag this fish. First thing you want to do when you're ready to tag is you want to make sure you have all of your materials ready to go. So we've got our measuring board so we can get the length of the fish. We've got our tagging data card and our fish tag ready so that we can record the data as quick as possible and as accurate as possible. We've got our tagging tool here, just cleaned up from the last time we tagged to make sure that this fish has the best chance of surviving and we'll go ahead and insert the tag into the tagging tool and make sure that it fits down into the little indention at the very end of the tagging tool. I've also already used my GPS to get the latitude and longitude of this location so that we can get a really good accurate location for the release of this fish. And now that we're ready, we're going to bring the fish that we caught aboard and get a length. careful when you're handling any fish to ensure that they have the best chance to survive that you either wet your hands or use gloves when handling them and you want to get the total length which means that you're going to pinch the tail at the end here looks like we've got 10.75 inches when you tag you're going to place your left hand over the fish's uh, eye and it helps to calm the fish down and then about an inch or a half an inch down from the dorsal spines here. We're going to place the end of the tagging tool and we're going to push it at a 45 degree angle until we feel it get inserted into the fish. And there it goes. All right, then I'm going to twist it at a 45, uh, about 45 degrees or a quarter turn towards that dorsal fin so that the tag can catch a spine. I'll give it a good tug and make sure it's in there well, and it is. And we'll get ready to release our fish back into the water. We wanna make sure that the fish is doing well before we release it, so if it needs revived, all you have to do is hold it by the tail, push it forward and bring it back, and that'll bring air through the gill, or water through the gills, in order to get the fish revived and get some oxygen back into the blood. And that's a good way you can tag a fish and ensure that it survives to be recaptured by another angler. One. Right now I'm filling out the information on my tagging data card for the speckled trout we just tagged. Make sure you get your date, a good location description. So right now um, we're going to fill out the length, which was 10.75 inches and that was measured. I've already got my GPS coordinates uh, from my GPS for the location of the Latin long and we want to make sure that that's within a mile. Um, it's very important to get it that close and get a better set of data from the fish. Time of day is going to be these boxes over here 12 to 3 and then fish condition. Um, if it swam away vigorously, which our fish is doing, um, then it's going to be a condition of one. And hopefully most fish that you tag are going to be ones or twos. Um, and those are going to be the best ones to release and they have the better chance of surviving. 
And if I have any special comments, I'll write them in here. Anything special about the fish. And I'll put my LAG number down here so that we can be uh, identified when we send in the data card. And that's how we fill out our tagging data for the fish.